He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. The gastrotrichs, or hairy bellies, get their name from the Greek gaster or gastros, meaning stomach or belly, and thrix, or trichos, meaning hair. This name comes from the fact that their entire ventral surface, or belly, and only their belly, is often covered in visible cilia. These are tiny, bilaterally symmetrical animals, usually less than one millimeter in length, with a transparent bowling pin-shaped or strap-shaped body that is dorsally arched and ventrally flattened. They are divided into two clades, the Macrodacida, which are marine animals, except for two species, and the Chitonotida, some of which are marine and some freshwater. Like the flatworms of Phylum platyhelminthes, all hairy bellies of Phylum gastrotrica are triploblastic, meaning they have three unique germ cell layers, and they are also unsegmented acelomates, meaning they lack a true body cavity and segmentation. Unlike the flatworms, however, the gastrotrichs have distinctive paired extensions on their posterior ends, called feet, or furca, which contain glands that aid in adhesion. Like the flatworms, many gastrotrichs have a type of duogland system where one gland secretes an adhesive agent that allows the animals to attach themselves to the substrate, and a second gland secretes a de-adhesive agent that breaks down the first adhesive. In addition, gastrotrichs have a well-developed cuticle that may form plates, scales, and spines, though it does not contain chitin and is not molted at any time throughout their lives. They have a complete gut that begins with a terminal anterior mouth and ends with a ventral posterior anus in many species. Gastrotrichs eat detritus, algae, bacteria, and other organic material which they pump into their mouths through suction from a muscular pharynx, which has a Y-shaped or inverted Y-shaped lumen. From there, the food passes into their midgut and cylindrical intestine, which is lined with digestive cells. Undigested material passes out of the anus. Their excretory system consists of one or more pairs of protonephridia, which are equipped with selenocytes instead of the flatworm flame cells, and function primarily for osmoregulation. Their muscular system is unique and comprised of a system of separate longitudinal, circular, and helicoidal muscles. Their nervous system includes a bilobed cerebral ganglion at the head end and one or more pairs of nerve cords that extend to the tail. Sensory and motor neurons project off the brain and nerve cords. Their sensory organs are comprised of ciliated receptor cells. Some receptors line the body and function as mechanoreceptors that respond to pressure, while others form ciliated pits on the head that function as chemoreceptors and respond to various chemicals. A few species also have red or black pigmented eye spots. Like the flatworms, they lack any specialized circulatory or respiratory systems. Gastrotrichs are considered to be cosmopolitan in distribution, meaning they are found all over the world, though their patterns of distribution are not yet fully understood. They appear to be locally abundant, sometimes reaching densities of more than 2.6 million per square meter. As one can imagine, it's a pretty small area for 2.6 million of any type of animal to live in, but gastrotrichs are able to do it because their incredibly small size allows them to live in the spaces between grains of substrate. Since the gastrotrichs are so small, they often make up an important part of the myofauna, or myobenthos, of marine and freshwater environments. Some species live attached to plants and animals, where they form an important part of the periphyton, which is a collection of small animals, algae, cyanobacteria, microbes, and organic matter that adheres to many submerged surfaces in aquatic environments, including live plants and animal shells. Gastrotrichs are important detritivores, as the fifth most abundant group of sediment-dwelling invertebrates on Earth. They are often an important part of the diet of free-living flatworms and other slightly larger animals. 
In terms of defenses, when threatened by something large enough to penetrate their outer covering, they can withdraw their body an inch backwards using a combination of muscle contraction and adhesion. In general, gastrotrichs are hermaphroditic, or monoecious, meaning they contain both male and female reproductive organs. Most marine species are simultaneously hermaphroditic, meaning they are born with both male and female reproductive organs and retain them throughout their lives. Most simultaneous hermaphrodites take part in internal mutual reciprocal sperm transfer, where both partners are fertilized in unison. Most freshwater species have a sort of biphasic form of reproduction, wherein they are born as parthenogens, meaning they can produce mitotic, not meiotic, eggs, in the absence of sexual reproduction. These eggs always hatch as females and are genetic clones of the mother. After a period of time, these same parthenogenetic mothers and daughters will become simultaneous hermaphrodites and develop sperm and meiotic eggs. No one has ever witnessed copulation and sperm exchange between two such gastrotrichs. Most gastrotrichs are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. Some species can produce two different kinds of eggs, thick-shelled dormant eggs that can survive in harsh environments for years until conditions become more favorable, and thin-shelled eggs that hatch rapidly. Newly hatched gastrotrichs also develop extremely rapidly and often reach sexual maturity within three days. Some species survive for up to 40 days, while many die much younger. Since gastrotrichs somewhat resemble a cross between a flatworm and a rotifer, the latter of which we will discuss later in the series, their classification has been in flux for some time. At various points since their discovery, they have classified with the deuterostomes, the rotifers, the nematodes, and the flatworms. The most recent analyses place them within the clade Rufozoa, under Platytrochozoa, making them the sister clade of the flatworms. However, it must be made clear that even this most recent classification is disputed by some studies, and could very well change as research continues. Regardless, the phylum gastrotrica itself is considered to be monophyletic, and consists of about 840 described species as of the recording of this tutorial. So let's move forward and investigate other phyla. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.